So, um, by the way, guys, uh, at this point now, if you've got questions or anything you want me to discuss, this is a really good opportunity to place them in the chat. I'm kind of down to the last two slides here. Uh, so if you want any kind of topics after you look at these overview topics that you want me to break into or get into detail, please just leave them in the comments below. I'm, I'll be more than happy to develop training around them. Hold on one second. And a sip of coffee. Okay. So let's talk about overview of weekly topics. Again, I told you just let me know if there's anything I'm not covering here that you want to talk about. All right. So again, topics are a moving target. I encourage input as a custom design course is based on your goals. That's what I ultimately want. So here we go. So this is our first week. We've, we're just finishing up here from agent to agency builder in eight weeks or less. We're, we've gone over what you can expect out of this course, the direction we're going to go in and how we're going to discuss it. Week number two, we're going to get into agency fundamentals. So this is where a lot of these basic questions that you probably have are going to be answered, such as, do I need to license my agency? What about getting an office space? Um, those are kind of granular basic questions, but then we'll get more detailed, like what should my agency be? What market should I focus on? Should I focus on multiple markets? Basic stuff like this. I kind of have a different way and belief of how you should get started. Again, the key thing here is not perfection, but good enough. Uh, perfection is the enemy of, of good in some sense. So I think that the goal is to make something happen, to put this into action, and then adjust and course correct along the way so that, you know, if you don't have everything you think you should have in the beginning, but you can add it later, to just get the bare minimums in place so that you can implement some sort of action plan to build an agency. And we'll get into more specifics by what I mean then. Number three is recruit now. And this is really, really important that if you want to build an agency, the time is now. If you want to recruit agents, even if you don't have training, even if you don't have the specifics laid down, you can get enough information compiled to start the recruitment process now. It's really important to get feedback based on what you say to your market, how, what you, how and what you say to your market um, in order to get people interested to come work for you. So you can course correct. But you don't want to, again, do all this sort of work in building an agency only to find out that there's no interest or maybe your message is wrong. So I believe that the sooner you start recruiting, the better for your own business because it's going to allow you to get feedback. It's going to allow you to get people in place that will start off the process. It's going to allow you to start documenting their success to create a trail of what it's like to work in your organization to begin the culture building that I talked about earlier, um, all important things in expanding your image in the mind of your agent prospects. We're also going to talk about opportunity meetings. I think opportunity meetings are essentially the equivalent of what I do on YouTube. Opportunity meetings are great ways to speak about your opportunity to sell insurance with you to a multitude of people and then screen them out to find out which ones are the which agents are worthy of working with you and are a good fit for your organization. We're going to talk about how to do opportunity meetings, what the details are in making them happen, why I like opportunity meetings from a, a structural standpoint, uh, from a recruiting standpoint, and from a time standpoint. And then we're going to talk about agent selection process. How do you figure out what agent is going to be a good pick? What systems can you put into place to screen out the bad apples? One of the biggest challenges in recruiting is not recruiting agents who are going to leave you a chargeback debt, okay? So you got to make and place steps in a system, in an approach, a method, to screen out those people who are not good fits for your organization. I'll show you step by step what I've done in my organization so that you can implement something similar. And then along with that, we'll talk about developing just-in-time training. Again, this whole program is about getting the base level in place and we'll smooth out some of the uh, details as we go along and as we start to pick up and recruit agents and I'll teach you how to put training together so it's not going to take an inordinate amount of time and how to put your agents in a position so where they got training and they can study and be in a position to go out and uh, sell confidently. <clears throat> Scaling up is week six so we're going to talk about how to take a process that you've developed, implemented, and seen the kind of the results of it and start to scale up your activity. So scaling up the prospecting methods to get agents, 
scaling up the uh, uh, training process to put people in place to start being successful, and to start building an agency on a faster basis once you've laid the bedrock and the foundation. Week seven, we're going to talk about advanced recruiting concepts. So we're going to kind of build upon some of the earlier concepts we talked about. If you wanted to expand out into other uh, ways to get in front of uh, agents in order to recruit them. Um, not, not necessary per se, as far as do you have to do the advanced processes, not really, but they're there as something you can consider. And then in week eight, we're going to talk about in detail developing company culture and, and why it's important to agent retention. You don't want to be like most organizations that, again, I've talked to a lot of agents. They work with an organization, they get their training, and they find out their commission level is horrific or their value proposition uh, is not what it seems when it's compared to the market rate of what they could get elsewhere. And so these organizations sp spend an inordinate amount of time training good people just to lose them to somebody else. Whereas if they took time to think about that process happening, they can retain their talent because it's just like running a storefront, guys. If you ever have any experience in retail, what you want to do is make the most profitable client is a person who comes back again and again and again and again. It's a very expensive to spend money on recruiting or advertising, getting people into your retail organization just for them to buy one thing and leave and never come back, okay? So retention is what you want. In an agency, you want agents to stick around for their entire career if at all possible because that's going to expand your income earning capabilities to its maximal extent. Week nine, we're going to plus we're going to cover the topics of your interest. We may actually cover them earlier than this, uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, it's just kind of depending on what the topics are. Are you an insurance agent who is interested in building your own agency? If that's the case, then beware. There are so many opportunities, quote opportunities, out there for agents to level up their game and build their agency that put all sorts of contingencies and stopgap measures to prevent you from actually owning your agency and maximizing your commission. I put together a new program for those agents who are interested in creating their own agency. It doesn't matter what product you sell, but to give you the knowledge and the pathway to own the entire process of growing your agency and scaling it and making sure that no one, not a single company, person, or upline owns you, where you own the thing outright and you build your agency and your vision only. This program is something you can learn more about very easily. If you go to daviddufour.com, click at the top that says Join Dave's Agency. You'll see a part there where it says Agency Builder Program, something like that. Check that out, review it, and then uh, feel free to get back with me if it's something that's interesting to you and useful, especially if you're looking to grow an agency and understand the importance of building an independent way that has no entangling alliances uh, with anyone except uh, the vision that you have. So thanks for watching and hope to hear from you soon. See you. Bye.